Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to the next video, my post per save. Um, we're in mid-January 2015 at the moment in the first season. And I've really concluded all the chances that we'll be making this season. So I just thought I'd run you through them. Um, you already know about Danny Shitu and Kyle Wilson coming in. I showed them that they were coming in in the last video. Um, so Danny Shitu, I'm really happy he's come anyway. Um, if you look at the guy. Great experience. Um, I've used him a lot on Football Manager, so I'm very really happy with him coming in. I talked about him in the last video. Kai Wilson from Berwick for twenty four thousand. Um, not as good as I thought it would be because I really trusted my scouts on this one. But he is seventeen, and he will improve a lot. And if the worst comes to worst, we can sell him on. Um, so he will improve anyway, and he's gone out on loan to Whitehawk, so he'll get experience there. Uh, next of all from Sheffield United for 3.8 thousand is Michael Doyle. Really happy with this buy, just a great bargain. Um, you know, he's 33 year old, which is not too old, it's not too ancient. And he's got a lot of experience in the Championship, which is a hard division to play in. League One, he's played in the Scottish Premier League, but I didn't think he'd get any games in that. No, he didn't, in fact. So he started off his career at Celtic, went to Coventry, Leeds and Sheffield United. So he's got a lot of experience. I've watched him play before because I like to watch the you know the football league show. He's a really solid player. Uh, 14 tackling, which is good for this division. A good work rate and teamwork. So that'll be great. And, uh, you know, if we get promotion next season, he will be in the side that season as well. And last of all, with the ins, is Callum Evans from Manchester United for £6,000. Um... I wanted the back up right, you know, you know, defend at the right hand side. Um, not the best player in the world, but he's only 19. Um, he will get better. And I think for £6,000, that's a really, really good bargain. You just can't go wrong. And plus, he comes from Manchester United. And I said in the last video that Nigel Atangana, I think that's how you pronounce it, went for £69,000 to Dijon FCO. And, you know, obviously I've just said Kyle Wilson went to Whitehawk. So that concludes the transfers, guys. I'm really happy with it all. I think I've done a good job. You know, I got that wage budget, which were like 23000 or something. And then I put that into the transfer key. And I think uh, the money I spent, 200, you know, 211000 I think I got in some really good players. So let's go to the schedule. You know, it's not been too long since we played against uh, Bristol City, but we've had a good run of games. And, you know, I'm going to be doing another, like, two videos to conclude this season uh, with this, you know, with the remaining games here. So, I thought this would be a perfect time to do a video. Um, so, since that 4-1 defeat to Bristol City in the Johnson's Paint Trophy semi-final, um, we had a 1-1 draw against Accrington, Stanley. Um, you know, they're doing well in the in the league at the moment. We had a 2-1 routine victory over Cheltenham. Um, two players sent off it on each team. But unfortunately for them, they got players sent off in the 29th minute. So we took advantage of that. And then we had a really, really good win against Wimbledon 5-2. Appiah scoring two goals. You know, we come from behind in that game. Then we had a 0-0 draw against Luton, which is not such a bad thing as in... Because Luton are doing well in the league at the moment in real life. And we got a player sent off in the 85th minute. And then we lost in the FA Cup third round against Fulham. Actually, had a pretty good um, showing for ourselves, I reckon. I think we played some decent football against them. But they just had that quality in Ross McCormack and Brian Ruiz. And Brian Ruiz is a really good player. So we lost 2-0 there. And then we had a 2-1 win against Newport County. Andy Barchman and Matt Tubbs with the goals. And then we had a 1-1 draw against Tranmere Rovers. So in today's game, we're playing against Burton. Uh, they're high flying at the moment in real life. I've been actually first in that in in the league too. So this will be an interesting game. Um, I'm just going to my squad, and uh, I think this would be a real perfect time to really run you through the players that are playing well and playing bad. Um, I've just like included more um, columns here. I'm actually using the skins. Um, columns that come with it. I just inserted it like literally like a couple of days ago. So it really gives you a good um outlook on what's going on with the players, with the match fitness, the condition and everything like that. 
Your mouse is stuck again. It's been messing about today, but I'll run you through uh, the play as well. This saw, yeah, it's sorted out now. Uh, Chid Wallace is by you know the average rating um, has been the best player so far this season for us, um, with an average rating of seven point two zero. From thirty three appearances, he scored eleven goals, which is really good. Appiah, who is out on international duty for Ghana, which is a good thing for him. He scored 20 goals from 29 appearances, you know, and I bought him from Crystal Palace, and I knew he would do good in this league, but I didn't think he'd do it this good. Andy Barchman, um, I actually weren't playing him at, at the beginning of the season. I just I brought him in because of his pace. Um, 17 acceleration, 15 pace. Um, you know, he's played really good, and, and pace and acceleration is a killer in these leagues. Uh, I brought in Bilal Monzi for... You know, from Rangers, and he's had a good account of himself. I know he could do good in defence. James Dunn has been really good. Uh, Liam Craig has done well also, but I'm now playing him in a more attacking role. Matt Tubbs, who's injured. Um, one thing I do like about him is I'm playing him sort of out of his preferred role, but I'm doing it so he works for the team, and he's done well for us. He's, um, you know, he's had some decent assists and some decent goals. So that really concludes that. Um, I think a couple of players I'm disappointed in is um, Jack Watmuth. Um, I've dropped him for this game, playing Danny Shitu instead. Uh, he's got an average rating of 6.78. Um, he's made... See, it's not really his performances, it's the mistakes he makes. You know, he's a very good player, don't get me wrong. But he makes mistakes in games, and I don't know if that's because of his age or experience. I have made him the captain because I do plan on building the team around him. But, you know, just for these few games, I'm going to drop him, play Danny Shitu, and just try and get some results that will make sure that we get promoted. But, you know, he will do good in the future. Um, looking at the table in League 2, you know, we're currently second after 25 games with 47 points. One point behind the leaders, South End, and join on points with third place, Shrewsbury. Um, and we're like four points ahead of um, the fourth place, Accrington Stanley. So my main goal is really to, to finish in the automatic uh, places to get, you know, promotion. I'll be over the moon with that. So just getting a, an advantage over the playoff guys, that's that's my main goal at the moment. I'll show you the lineup we'll be using. We've got a couple of um, injuries up front. Well, Appia is out on international duty for Ghana. Let's just see um, Ghana's team, in fact. Two sets. Main tactics. Okay, they're playing Waris at Suds there. Is Appia on the bench? No, he's not on the bench. He's not even on the. But that's good for him. You know, it's good for a young striker to play for his international. Up to play for his country. Hopefully he does well for him. I'm working on his finishing at the moment. And his acceleration. Um, let's go to tactics. So yeah, this lineup I'll be using. You know, we've got a few problems. Matt Tubbs is out injured. How long is he out for? He's out for about another three to four weeks. Um, Klasnik is not the most. He hasn't played too well for us, put it that way. To be kind to him. So West Carl's up front. Bartram and Wallace were really deadly there up there. Craig, Liam Craig. I'm playing him more of an attacking role, so he's a centre midfielder, but attacking. Dunn's always going to be the ball winning midfielder. And Doyle is a box to box uh, midfielder who's just come in. And I will be giving Callum Evans his first start instead of Liam Ostenbaugh, who hasn't had. You know, he's another guy that's disappointed me. John Ostenbaugh. I think that's insane, isn't it? Let's go to the game anyway, guys. I could literally just ramble on forever. You know, I've got to stop myself at times from just talking about loads of crazy stuff. Okay. I think it's raining outside now as well. Like, today the weather has been insane. It's been like sunshine and birds tweeting, and then it's like completely dull. It's just bi very bipolar, the weather. Okay, let's mark this guy. There we go there. Yeah, we have favourites. 
I really wish Appiah were playing and Matt Tubbs, though. I mean, I just feel really happy when they're playing because they're so good with each other. But anyway, let's get on with it. Okay, they kick off. Messino. Shitu gets away there. And Danny Shitu is good, um, you know, with the set pieces. You know, he's always in the box trying to get ahead on it. I've done there with a good tackle. Takes it off of uh, Phillips. Wallace. Okay, Doyle with his first goal for the club. I think that's his first goal anyway. Yeah, his first goal of the season. What a finish that was. So since coming from Sheffield United, he's, uh, he's scored a, a magnificent goal for us. An important goal. I think he represented Ireland once as well. So he's got international experience. All right, Doyle again. Is he going to hit it again? But he squares it to Craig. Wallace. Oh, Wallace normally buries them. Okay, that's a corner kick. 24 minutes gone. All over him at the moment. Potts is out injured, so Nicky Shorey is at left back and he's he's not too good, Shorey, anymore. Not the player he used to be. Benny Shear too there. Heads it back on. Okay, that's a foul from Denny. Thirty five minutes. I'd love another goal before half time. Wesker, can he get on to any doors? Or oh, playing him, you know, left side of attacking midfield. That's his second goal of the season. Maybe he'll start playing a few games now. 42, 43. Jimmy Phillips has just been offside. Okay. Very happy with that. That's perfect. Okay, Nicky Shorey. Yeah, you know, I'll bring Jack Watmouth back into the team. It's just, he, he, what he struggles with is when teams play the ball over the top and he's got to run towards the ball. He sort of like sort of like stutters and then an, an attacker will take advantage of it and just run onto the ball, you know what I mean? It's like amateur stuff, really. Okay, that's uh, going to be a penalty. 47 minutes, we can make sure this game is... Far beyond them if we score this penalty. Okay, Shrewsbury on 50 points now. Craig with the penalty. Slots it in. He will another one of our buyers this season as well from Hibs. I think I've done a good job with the scouting. You know, the scouts have done a pretty good job as well. Um, if you are starting in this league, I suggest that you scout Scotland... And maybe just um, countries in the UK, you know, Ireland, because you'll get players pretty cheap. And like, no disrespect to the Scottish leagues, but, you know, the players will be wanting to come to England because they'll get paid more money, you know. So, which is kind of sad. It's kind of sad that, say, a, a player in the Premier League in Scotland can get paid more in, like, League Two, maybe League One in England. Or be even there with a shot that I'll tell, but... Okay, Nicky Shorey, Barcham, Wesker. Right, I'm going to take off Craig Wesker here. Bring on Klasnik. See, Klasnik, you know, he, he's preferred as an advanced forward, but I use him as a target man on support because, you know, he's very slow. Um, okay, let's take off Danny Shitu for Jack. And I'm going to give uh, Jed Wallace a little bit, bit of a rest here for Bastos. Okay, 74 minutes, so. Good good tackle done. That was just like a brick wall. He ran into a brick wall there with Dunn. And Wallace gets a cheeky goal before he comes off. That's nice. That's his 12th goal of the season. Great, well done, done. That was awesome tackle. That I love that stuff. That's what I used to like about Desai at Chelsea as a defender. He was just a just a, oh Jack Watmouth comes on and scores. That's him replying to me there, saying, "What you dropped me for, boss? Look at my hair." 
I've got beautiful hair. <laughs> okay, 88 minutes, 89. Phillips. That's a 5 0 win against Burton. And Burton are like, you know, in the top three in real life at the moment. So I'm very happy with that. Just happy with all aspects of that. Normally, I mean, I, I try and watch the game on extended as often as I can. But, you know, when I do these videos, I do it on key. So it's not taking forever. Because you have those games where it shows you like every single attempt on goal. You know what I mean? It's just ridiculous. So, so I, you know, but from what I've seen there, every, every single thing were perfect. Defence, uh, midfield and attack. So, as you can see there in League 2. We're currently on 50 points, Shrewsbury on 50 points, and Southend on 49 points. And we're four points ahead of Accrington, who are fourth. So I'm really happy with that. And yeah, 10 points above Stevenage and Wimbledon and Carlisle. So we've done well with ourselves there, you know. I'm going to look at the schedule and see when the next video will be. Because I'm going to try and get another two videos out of the remaining fixtures, you know, like one around here. And then, actually, I'll probably do the game at last. I'll probably do the last video at last game at season. That makes sense, really, doesn't it? I will do. It will probably be against Oxford or Northampton. Whatever seems the juicier tie at the time. So, thanks for watching, guys. Really appreciate it. Hope you're having a good week. And uh, take care.